Forensic Golf, Doc Blaze. I want to talk to you today about something that's very, very important to me, and I think it should be important to you, okay? Um, you know, I teach the golf swing from the ground up. I teach it from an anatomical point of view and a functional pattern point of view. Remember, the golf club is designed a certain way, so we have limitations, right? And then our body is designed a certain way, so we need to understand what's the most efficient and effective way is to swing the golf club. And that's what I do. So my, my golf instruction is evidence-based and is anatomically correct and it's built behind functional patterns, all right? So the reason I say that is to say this. But first, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell. That way you'll be notified when my new videos drop. And let me know what type of swing are you working on or what kind of method do you subscribe to? If I can tell, Rotary, Traditional, Ben Hogan, Five Lessons, Harvey Pinnock, um, Golf My Way, whatever it is, right? And what I want to tell you is this, is that no matter what, because I teach the swing from the ground up, you know, because I understand physics, I understand geometry, I understand the laws of motion. So I understand what we need to do to get the ball to propel toward the target. But the one thing I figured out is that no matter what, if you adhere to the principles of the premium setup, no matter what philosophy you subscribe to, you're going to hit some good shots. It's going to allow you to get back into the clubhouse and hit some really, really, really good shots, right? Because the principles of the premium setup, we have more weight pressure on our target side, and we know that all great ball strikers get back to their target side, right? We know that 99.9% .9 of all elite players start with 55 to 60% of pressure on their target side. There's only two players that don't, Gary Woodson and one more. I can't remember who the other one is, okay? We know that when we piston pivot and anchor our weight, and the reason why I say piston pivot, because it gets the shoulders to start working the correct way. And let me first say this. I'm not the first person to ever say, let's put more pressure on your target side. Let's close our shoulders off, right? I'm not the first person to say that, you know, so I've never claimed to say, hey, I developed this. But what I did develop is a sensation and a desire and a passion to make sure that I give these principles to every client that I work with, no matter what method they subscribe to, okay? We want to make sure that we tilt the shoulders and lifting the arms and we swing it along the body line. That's going to give us that inside the square, the inside swing path that is so desirable, right? With the pressure on the target side, it's going to give us that feeling of playing golf going downhill like the great Calvin Peake, right? Where you see these guys get that lateral shift, right? Well, we're already over there, so we're shifting the pressure to our instep and then getting back over there, just the pressure. Remember, there's a huge difference between center of pressure and center of mass. Mass is what you see moving, pressure is what you feel moving, okay? We want as much speed as possible out in front of us. You know why? Because when we do that, we actually release the club, right? We're not holding on. We see so many people trying to hold on and get the flat left wrist, then they're hitting blocks. But when we get that speed out front, we get that full release. Jack Nicholas said, if you want to learn how to hit a power fade, you need to learn how to hit a draw first because he knew you have to know how to release the club head to start working the ball. So that's why I say the premium setup, the principles of the premium setup will apply to any method, any philosophy that you subscribe to. And I guarantee you, it's going to make you a more efficient ball striker a more effective ball striker, and it's going to lower your scores. That's why I always subscribe to the principles of the premium setup. So take care, folks. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Again, hit that bell, get notified, and leave a comment below. I, sus I actually respond to every comment in there. So here we go. We're going to tap into all this hard work, right? I'm not going to step into my ball until I'm ready. Wholeness, stillness, you know, the butterflies flying in formation. I have my goal number. I'm going to step in with my left hand only. Piston pivot, anchor the weight.
The strike doesn't lie, right? You hear that sound? Let's drop another one. And that's all we're doing is tapping into all that hard work that we've already done. But it's a process. Look at what I do. I want you to watch what I do. I step in with the left hand only. This the pivot, anchor my weight. A little bit off the bottom two grooves. Right there on the left side of the green. See what I'm talking about? Efficiency. Effective. That way you're still right there. Step another one. Three balls, two balls so far. Both of them were decent balls. First one was a golf shot. Step in with the left hand only. Just a pivot, anchor your weight. There you go. Another beautiful ball, three balls, right? I'm just trying to show you how effective this is. If I want to amp it up and turn it up a little bit, I'll just speed up my rib rotation. Left hand, piston pivot, anchor my weight. Oh my goodness. And that was a beautiful ball, pure draw. The ball started out here to the right and turned back right toward the pin. Great shot, but four balls, sticking with the principles of the premium setup. I'm talking as I'm hitting these balls. So just think about if you have your focus and you're not talking while you're hitting these balls, your percentage is gonna get even tighter. Your proximity to the pin is gonna get even tighter. So again, folks, I highly advocate that you add the principles of the premium setup, and it's gonna really, really take your game to new heights. Take care, folks. Forensic Golf, Doc Blade signing out. Oh my goodness. And that was a beautiful ball, pure draw. The ball started out here to the right. Oh my goodness. And that was a beautiful ball, pure draw. The ball started out here to the right. Oh my goodness. And that was a beautiful ball. Pure draw. The ball started out here to the right.